Good afternoon and welcome to this weather update on this warm and humid April 13th, Saturday. Uh, and the sun has now come out uh, across our area. Um, the, the high clouds have kind of broken up here. This is the front that's moved through last night that brought us all the rain that stalled out to the south of us. Uh, and it's quite warm out there. So let's uh, take a look and see uh, what our temperatures look like right now. So we're going to first look at the maps and show you... Uh, uh, how warm it is here on the um, Ventus sky. So you can see everywhere is pretty much uh, in the low 70s uh, across Long Island and maybe some upper 60s along the south shore, but not much of a sea breeze going on right now because, again, we have a westerly flow. Uh, so uh, there probably will be more of a sea breeze setting up by the afternoon because if you have further east, there is a sea breeze where it's in the low and mid 50s along the south shore. Um, and then as you head west into Jersey, temperatures shoot up into the mid-70s, of course, that being the hot spot. But everybody's kind of on the warm side today. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, observation map from one to ground. And you can see here, again, the south shore is in the uh, upper 60s. And then as you head into uh, the middle of the island, uh, we're in the uh, mid-70s. Uh, well, not mid-70s, but around 70 degrees, low 70s. And then the North Shore is even hotter. You have some uh, mid-70s over there in Glen Cove, of course. North Shore is also very hot, too, a hot part of Long Island as well. Uh, so for those who think about living there, again, it's a hotter place. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, whereas the middle, we're in the um, a little cooler here, at around 70 degrees. But the South Shore, uh, if you're right along the water, it's only in the 50s. Um, as we head further out east, you can see it's warm all over, uh, except, like I said, you got to be on the south shore pretty much, and that's where it'll be cooler. Mid-50s. Looks like there was more of a sea breeze out in Suffolk and Nassau. Not quite as much, but it, it'll start, I think, in the afternoon, and we'll start to see temperatures drop. Uh, and then as we look into New, in New York City, uh, you'll see here uh, temperatures in the mid to more in the mid-70s here. Um, and then it gets even hotter as we head into Jersey. Of course, you actually have upper 70s here, so wouldn't be surprised if some areas in New Jersey make a run at 80 today. Uh, could be uh, Tom's River 75, 76, 76. Uh, very uh, warm out there, very warm. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the observations here from the airports. Uh, so um, we'll start with Farmingdale. It's 63 at Farmingdale, so not quite as bad out east. Uh, and... Uh, if we go further out east, out to West Hampton, probably that'll be the cool spot, probably. 57, so yeah, the sun's not out there, 53. But you also know, look at the dew points. So uh, we'll look at Islip, too. Um, Islip, 62, but the dew point's 58, so it's, 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 it's a little humid out there. It's actually humid in April. Uh, so we'll go and look at Central Park. 76, so it's much warmer in the city. 76 with a dew point of 56, uh, and... Uh, and we'll head to uh, New Jersey, where I'm sure it's going to be even worse. So, uh, Tom's River, 75 degrees, and a uh, dew point of 58. So, they could get close to 80. Probably won't hit it. Maybe upper 70s. We're talking, this is April here. We're not supposed to have this kind of weather in April. Come on. So, uh, let's take at all that rain we got last night. Um, some of these rainfall reports. Uh, looks like Connecticut parts of it got an inch and a half. I'm just going to focus on Long Island here. Uh... So, uh, Nassau County, uh, looks like, yeah, we got quite a bit. North Merrick, 1.49, uh, Syosset, 1.39, Levittown, 1.35, uh, and then, uh, we can, uh, so we do have some, uh, really high rainfall amounts. Let's take a look at Suffolk County. Uh, Melville, 1.38, uh, 1.04, Lake Ronkonkoma, 0.96. Looks like it's a little less as you head further out east, uh, but everybody got, between three quarters of an inch to uh, an inch and a half of rain out of this thing. So it was a lot of rain, and we're going to get more rain on the way. So uh, we're going to talk about what is going to be happening for the rest of this weekend. Uh, and uh, for that, we will look at the, um, we'll start, we're looking at the temperatures on the GFS. Uh, and you'll see here's the warmth today. Uh, but uh, let's see, there should be a backdoor tomorrow that should save at least Long Island. Hopefully a backdoor will set up cool us off uh, and uh, and then that back door moves back as a warm front Sunday night and it gets quite warm and humid uh, we were over this before Sunday night on Monday morning we're gonna have 
quite warm and humid conditions and storminess. So, uh, and then for Monday the heat retreats. So let's uh, take a look and take a look at that storminess. Of course, I'm going to use a different model. We'll shift over to the Nam uh, to look at that, and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the storminess. So here is the Nam, and here's the next area of rain that affects us. Could have a couple of small showers around Sunday, but here comes this front, really a strong cold front that's going to move through. Looks like more toward Monday morning now, uh, and some really heavy showers and thunderstorms possible with that front that's going to approach. This will be Monday. This will be Monday morning uh, that it moves through, uh, and uh, that could bring us another inch of rain possibly. I'm not going to go and look at the actual rain. It's a little far in the distance. I mean, it'll probably be. I mean, it'll probably be uh, another inch. Probably. Let's see. If we can that. Yep, another inch or so of rain. So, yeah, it's not going to be comfortable. All right, and also with this comes the dew point. So we'll look at the dew point too on this. Show you the humidity that we're going to be dealing with. So, um, so if Sunday won't be too bad, but then that humidity comes back into our area and dew points up into the 60s. So, we'll, uh, we'll have another weather update for you tomorrow on this. Either way, either way, just stay cool today, especially if you're in Jersey. If you can, head to the South Shore, be in air conditioning, because uh, it's quite um, it's quite warm and it's humid out, so it feels like summer. That's it for this weather update. Take care.